Okay, for those of y'all that are interested, this is the uh, Asus 1000HE. It's a 10 inch netbook, and I have actually installed a touch screen. And I will demonstrate that for you now. Um, this is Windows 7, and it comes with the built in touch interface. It's actually worked pretty well. So I'll go ahead and type in my password move it away so you can't see it and uh... you know here we go it's uh... it's a nice little device the screen's not too small windows seven really flies on it i like it a lot um, now firefox has a plug-in that'll let you use your stylus to flick through pages works very well and uh... you know it's kind of a kind of a useful thing i mean i'll tell you this i will never go back to using these crappy touchpads ever again this thing is now completely obsolete no need for it matter of fact in the future i uh... i really hope that these things don't exist something better could be there like maybe a smaller LCD uh, right here just right there where that is with some watch buttons you know like maybe you could program it like the Optimus keyboard to have some little launch buttons there or maybe just some nice padded hand rests anything but that crappy touchpad I mean that thing those things are useless that's that's the past those are on their way out anyways look at the keyboard on this thing it's really nice it's eighty percent to scale um, it's got a nice kind of chiclet style keys you can see they they feel real good to the click too I mean they're they're nice real good keyboard it's got a uh, it's got built-in microphone built-in webcam works real well for Skype uh, it's just a all-around good machine it's an Intel Atom 1.6 uh, gigahertz processor and it's got two uh, gigs of RAM doesn't come with two gigs of RAM it comes with one but I added one, and of course, I the, it doesn't come with the touch screen. The touch screen I had to add, and it was kind of a harrowing process. I think in the uh, I think in the future, I'm probably not going to buy laptops or netbooks anymore that don't have touch screens built into them because it's it's just so useful. But I almost destroyed this thing installing that touch screen, and plus I had to order it from Taiwan and. It cost me 30 bucks just to ship the thing alone. But uh, I highly recommend this laptop, other than the fact that it doesn't come stock with a touch screen. And I highly recommend Windows 7. Windows 7 is just beautiful. I mean, I'll tell you, they've got, it's, it's runs real well. It's got a nice, uh, you know, pretty good little uh, interface. You can see now for the uh, launcher, the, the old taskbar is gone. This is, this is what you get now. You you can actually stick these icons to uh, the the taskbar there. See if I I can pin anything to a taskbar. Well, except for that apparently. Uh, start menu items you can pin to the taskbar. And like Vista, it's got the nice little function where you can search um, right there on the start menu, uh, which I really like a lot. You know, it, it's really fast even on this uh, somewhat slow netbook I mean it's it's a uh, kind of the equivalent of a of an old Pentium 4 maybe a 2.6 gigahertz Pentium 4 uh, as far as speed you know it's it's a little 2003 but it's very portable um, you know it works real well uh, anyways back to the launcher the launcher is great you uh, you get previews of your open windows and uh, you can you can see you can just pop them right up and if I were using a mouse, when I would hover over the different parts, and I'll use the touchpad as an example, it w it'll blank out what's in the what's in the foreground and show you the app that you're hovering over. Um, see, so I can kind of and and it'll it'll go away unless you click on it, and then it switches to it. Well, it works real well. Uh, Windows Seven, I haven't had trouble running anything on. I haven't had trouble installing any drivers. Uh, everything's smooth sailing and the Bluetooth profiles built into Windows 7 are really good too. This uh, 
netbook has built-in Wi-Fi or a built-in uh, Bluetooth as well as Wi-Fi, and uh, you know I haven't had trouble with it at all. Everything just works. Um, Bluetooth file transfer works. Uh, Bluetooth personal area networking through the through the iPhone with the new 3.0 software. Uh, I, I know AT&T has blocked tethering, but if you're savvy, there's a little file out there that you can install that'll uh, activate tethering and MMS, and it's well worth it uh, for the tethering. I don't care much for MMS. Um, most of you guys that have sent me MMSs have been total crap, so uh, please don't send them anymore. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I highly recommend everything you see here. Bye.